Yes, I found your name. Okay, good. Go ahead, Khan. Present about energy crisis. First, what is an what is an energy crisis? The energy crisis is actually the lack of resources that humans need it for everyday life. What are these resources? The resources are actually gas, oil, electricity, and other fossil fuels. Furthermore, this crisis will also arise for water and oxygen resources. How does this crisis arise? The need for energy is increasing day by day with the increase of human beings and the positive growth of the Earth's population. And this is why there is no fault to produce, to produce more energy. And today's solutions also have problems such as high air pollution, noise pollution, and something like that. What is the largest source of energy consumption? It is certainly the world's largest source of energy consumed is oil. But you may be asked why this source isn't electricity, which is used in all devices. In this answer to in answer to this question must be said yes. The most direct human energy consumption is electricity. But now most of most of the electricity source comes from oil. What is the solution? Uh, it, must, it must be said that first we must electricity all persons, but at the same time we have to do something that electricity comes uh, from eternal sources like sunlight, wind, river flow, and the tide of the seas. The benefits of this function or plan. Normal population is generated for electricity that we want to destroy it again consume energy. Also from this finite source, give up and uh, let not face the crisis of its completion. We have energy everywhere and no need to go to the gas station and something like that. Also problems such as air pollution and noise pollution and uh, greenhouse gases is solved. And Thank for your attention. <laughs> okay, nice picture. Good, good. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, if you have a very short comment on Hanov's presentation, you can write it down for it yes. for us. Okay, Hashemi, maybe you, not me. Okay, what are, I have a few questions, Hanov. Are you ready to answer? Uh, where is it? Good. What is the okay. meaning of energy consumption yeah. yes. in Farsi or in English? Mm. Energy. Energy uh, consumption. consumption. It is somewhere on uh, here. At the top. Yes. What's? Yes, can I say it's Farsi? Your question uh, was, what is the largest source of energy consumption? Do you know the meaning of consumption? What does it mean? Yes. Yes. Mm. Good. What is in the next one of the next slides? You had benefits. What's what is the meaning of benefit? You got a few yes. seconds. Benefit before this, before this picture, before this slide. I guess you had the word benefit. You don't remember. Okay, Mihan says your pictures were good and the PowerPoint was well made. Behruzi says I think he was reading from a paper. It was clear, Behruzi. No doubt about it that Khanov was reading from a paper. But Khanov. 
What I can say, everybody, the text that Khanov had found from somewhere. Khanov, what was your source? Where did you find the text? No, no, no. Different pieces. I comment um, some. No, the text uh, was I one text. Some texts from some YouTube. One text or different and, pieces. And the Rushed uh, magazines. You, uh, uh, low option. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. But, uh, a little of this. Uh -huh. Something uh, from. Uh huh. Uh, the Rush magazine is in uh, Farsi. You change it into English. Okay, what I Okay, okay. What I can say is that although he was reading from a text, which I said in this situation maybe as the first experience maybe okay for some of you, the text was also Mirhan easy to understand, good enough, easy enough to understand. It was not a very complicated, difficult text. Only kind of you had to read a little more slowly, make sh making sure that people like me understand exactly what is happening. Okay. And we had a word, Hanov said finite. It is finite, which means mahdud and limited. Finite resources of electricity. Okay. Not bad, Khanov. Thank you very much. The next gentleman, the next gentleman, Arili. Oh, you are Arili, Lord Fan. Yeah, I mean, Arili, I am presenter. Arili. Let's see. Vale. Bale, bale. Hello. Arili, go ahead. Send your thing. Yes, Mirhan. In uh, yeah. presenting professionally, sure. when you are completely. Sure. Hello, Arili. Did you send your PowerPoint? Share it, okay. Okay. Sometimes my speech is not technical enough. Did you send your PowerPoint? Means did you share it? Yes. All right. Mr. Ramini is not a very digital guy because he doesn't want to be a digital digital guy. But you guys have to be digital guys. You belong to another generation, at least three generations away from Mr. Ramini. You need to be digital. I have kept my distance from the digital world. That's the way it is. Okay. <laughs> but of course, I'm not blind to it. I somehow understand what is what. But if I want to use it, I'm not that fast or that good. Is there any All right. On my screen right now? Or... Yamani, are you around? I just saw your name, Rahbaras Yamani. Send me a beautiful I'm hi. Yes, yes, I do. No, not yet. It's not up yet. It's like loading or something. Okay, Yamani is there. Thank you, Rahbaras is there. Now let me use the time to check some people. Zaimi, are you there? And Ziai. Yamani, I would like you to contribute more to the class, okay? Some I always see some names only here. Okay, I got it, Yamani. Okay, yes. Uh, Karimi, Zaimi, are you there? Even Gobad? I know Hashemi is there. Gobad is there, okay. Hashemi is going to comment again. Okay. Hashemi responds as soon as he hears his own name. He loves his own name. Okay. Hash, hash. Hashemi, what is Hashmani? 
What is hush money? Azar, you are you there? Hush money. Ah. VAT, VAT, value added tax. What do you mean? What? <laughs> hush money. You don't know what hush money is? Hashas, do you know what hush money is? He was given some hush money. Whenever somebody wants to become the president of the United States, some ladies come up and say, Oh, some years ago when I was working for the guy, he uh, had some uh, kind of behavior which was not very gentlemanly. And that's very bad for the man. So before the lady does anything, the man might give him some hush money. Money paid to someone to prevent them from disclosing embarrassing information. What is disclose? Disclose means giving to the public. Yes, Fshar Kardan, bad information. Hush money is exactly robot. The money you give to somebody to shut back. Okay. Everybody get your books, please. Everybody get your books top notch, please. Top notch. Hush, we will start with you. Get your book. Okie dokie. Page 118. One of the last pages in the book this year. Hush, page 118. Okay, good. We talked about homeless man returns wallet with $900 in it. Now we want to go to the man risks his life to save another person's life. As I told you, headlines are short. Instead of saying a man risks his life to save another person's life, we just say man risks his life to save another. Many people, uh, Hashem, if I ask for the meaning of a word, please you help me. Many people who ride a busy urban subway wonder what would happen if I fell off the platform and onto the tracks. What would I do? Others wonder what would I do if someone else fell. Okay, fell onto the tracks. Tracks means the rails on which trains move. So this is one word. Instead of saying rails, they say tracks. Okay? And because electricity is used. Hashemi, what's the meaning of urban subway? Urban. What's the meaning of urban? And guys, I want the opposite of urban. If we know the meaning of urban, I want the opposite of urban. Urban means shahri. Urban is the adjective for city. Okay? Urban areas, manotev shahri. What is hume shahr? What is pira shahr? What is manotev pira shahri or hume shahri? Let me see. It has urban in it, but let's see if you can. Aha, gobat. The mirkhan is more exact because I said adjective, suburban. Suburb. Very good. Suburbs means atrofishar, humishar, and in countries like America, suburbs are places in which we don't have, there is no downtown. Around the downtown, we have just homes. Okay? Those are suburban areas, and people ride downtown in order to, to work, for example. And suburban areas. Very good. Agali, just give me a minute, Agali. You have to wait until I finish this one. That question was answered in a split-second decision made by subway hero Wesley Autry, a 50-year-old New York City construction worker on his way to work. One of the things you should remember is the preposition, on his way to work, meaning while he was going to work. And a construction worker, Sina, is a person who works well, what does he do? A construction worker is a person busy in 
busy in constructing. What does constructing mean? It has a struct, a structure in it. Constructing means, yes, a person who works in a construction site, but it doesn't solve our problem. Construction means building. Very good. So, soze, sohtan. A construction site or a construction worker who works at a construction site. All right. Until before Noruz, we had one or two construction sites near Danish school in this alley here. But now they are finished, ready to be exchanged for money. In a split-second decision, a split means separate. So a split-second decision means a decision that was made very, very fast. In a fast decision, you don't have enough time to think. In Farsi means kasli as in a split-second decision. Arthur jumped onto the tracks to save a fellow passenger from an oncoming New York City subway train. He pa jumped onto the tracks. The preposition is onto the tracks. Why? Infinitive of purpose. To save a fellow passenger. When you use the word fellow, means the guy was with you. What is hamvatan? Anybody knows? Hamvatan. A fellow passenger means somebody who was a passenger with him in the metro station. But what is Hamvatan? Anybody knows? He is my fellow Charles Troying. He is my fellow Compay oh, oh yes. Darini, very good, very good. Compatriot, compatriot is also compatriot Hamvatan. Yes, because com means ham. But also fellow countryman. He is my fellow comp countryman. Very good. OK. To save a fellow passenger from an oncoming train, a train that was coming. The passenger Cameron Holopeter, or Holopeter, as the Americans might say, or Holopeter, 20, a film student at the New York Film Academy, had fallen between the tracks after suffering a seizure, what is the meaning of seizure? You were supposed to find. You were supposed to look it up. He had a seizure, and he just fell down onto the tracks. Anybody check the meaning of seize? Seizure comes from seize, S-E-I-Z-E. -E. Nobody's typing. He had a seizure. He had a seizure. Hashanoj, bravo, Robert, bravo. It's difficult to explain in far English. So, Tashanoj, it comes from seas because seas means get of that. Seas means get. When that disease gets you, you start uh, shaking and you don't know what is happening. Your connection is cut with the outside world. If you see anybody like that, please help. First of all, before he falls down, try to grab him so he doesn't fall down and uh, get a head injury or a face injury or something like that. The next thing you need to do is to put something or something soft, if you have, between his teeth so he doesn't bite his tongue off. Then let him, but make sure he can breathe. Let him rest. After some time, when the tashanoj, when the seizure is gone, he will. Uh, what is behush amadan? Alash khub khahat shod. What is it? Mikhan, what is it? Beruzi, what is it? After a few minutes, he will uh, Round back, he will come back, okay, yes, better than this, he will recover, very good, he will gain consciousness. Okay, let's finish this. Autry rolled Hollow Peter into a gap between the rails and covered him with his own body just as the train entered the station. Both men survived. Opposite of died, they survived. I don't feel like I did something spectacular. 
I just saw someone who needed help. I did what I felt was right. That's good. That's good. Doing a lot of calculations, Moss, about should I go, should I not go, but that's something else. This guy just saw that somebody is going to die if he doesn't act. So he acted. Like he was your brother, what would you do? You would start thinking. No, you wouldn't. Okay, so a spectacular comes from a spec, a spectator. Can I say no. a Spectacular means interesting, means amazing, yeah. means tamoshoi. But here it means something extraordinary, something important. Okay, Agili. I will go to I will go the name of share. Today I'm going to talk about. Actually, do you want to share? No, I'm yes, but I don't have your. Got the sound pollution. Yes, you have. Ah, okay, good. Pollution. Everybody, listen, please. Go ahead. The sources of Twelve or four. Go ahead. And help control sound pollution. What is sound pollution? Sound pollution or noise pollution uh, is defined as any sound that is on one. Or a level of environmental sound that is likely to irritate nearby individual, cause distraction, cause hearing loss, cause hearing damage, or disrupt normal activities and lower quality of life. The sources of sound pollution. Sound pollution is mainly caused by transporters such as airplanes and cars and other effects. Noise, uh, noise exposure has known to causing damage such as hearing loss, tinnitus, hypertension, vasoconstriction, and other cardiovascular adverse effects. Chronic noise exposure has been associated with sleep disturbances and increased incidence of diabetes. Types of sound pollution. Continuous sound noise. Continuous noise is the noise which remains constant and stable over a given time period. The noise of boilers in a power house is uh, relatively constant and can therefore be classified as continuous. Most, manu most manufacturing noise is irritable or intermittent. Intermittent noise. Intermittent noise is a noise level that increases and decreases rapidly. This might be caused by train passage by factory equipment that operates in cycles from aircraft flying above your house. Impulsive noise. Impulsive noise are relatively short duration on a pulses caused by switching noise or adverse channel environments in a communication system, drop out or surface degradation of audio recording or click from computer keyboard. And the last one is low frequency noise. What can we do about it? Uh, first, you could turn off appliances at home and office. You can shut the door when using noisy machines. Using airplugs can help to lower, uh, we can lower the volume of the machine that we use or whatever. And we can stay away from What does it area. mean? What does it mean, really Follow the uh, limits of noise level. The limits of noise level is very important. And uh, control. It means that we should uh, the noise control the noise level, level, yes. Should, uh, we should just hear it. Uh, it shouldn't be bothering anyone else near us. For the Sensitive areas like where? Yes, yes around us. Uh, Residential areas where people live, like. Green, like uh, but hospitals is the best example. Just, and go green by planting small, trees. Uh, What's something of go here? Go green. Uh, uh,
What kind of activities? What kind of activities? Everybody should go green. What does that mean? We should call paint our faces green. Means, uh, we should do more activities about healthy environment. Yes, excellent, excellent, Agili. Very good. Gentlemen, send a feedback on Agili's presentation. Sources, please. Uh, no, we should. Uh, Environmental uh, Pollution Center dot org, National on. Geographic magazine or organization. Very good. You got it from two different sources. Actually, it was much better than uh, before. Than you were very much in control. Mir Zamani says, great. Other people, Nuri, what do you think? Mirkhan, what do you think? Send me, send me, Hashemi, send me a feedback. Don't send me what? Good introduction, a good ending. Mirkhan likes it. Hashemi, Hashemi, because your name is the one that is always in front of me, and because I like you, Hashemi, come on. Okay, Zia, what about you? Did you like it? <clears throat> okay, the lazy guy. Good, but it had no pictures. Aha, uh -huh. good point. You could make it more interesting. But what? Go back to some one of your. Uh, go back to one of your. Uh, Actually, one of your go to number two for example number two you had pictures I know go to number two ah some of you do like this what is sound pollution effects of sound pollution the types of sound pollution but actually was like I would like to tell you what sound pollution is and then we are going to talk about the effects of sound pollution try to use the information on this slide and make a sentence talk about it go to number six actually Uh -huh, for example, and even if here, uh, okay, we have different kinds of sound pollution, for example, continuous noise, then he started talking about it. Some of you just read and go to the next slide. That is no presentation. Okay. Fabon Nuri says it was good, but uh, not long enough, Nuri, you should say. Not long enough. Okay. Zia, I ask you to give a comment. What do you mean by yes? I ask you to give a comment on this. It was better than before, Agili, and your mark was uh, increased by two, by two marks. I'm not reading your marks, guys, but there is a reason for that. No, Falhanian, Falhanian, Falhanian. Thank you, Agili. We say goodbye to you. You can close your thing. Falhanian, where are you? In the kitchen? Yeah, bye bye. Good job. Oh, Farhanian. Uh, what was your uh, <coughs> what was your uh, topic, Arif? What was your topic? I remember you had a presentation. I guess. What was your topic? Just write it in short. Let me see. Anybody of you guys ozone layer? Yes, 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 yes. Did I accept it or did I say you should repeat it? Because I have no mark here. Did I make a mistake? What did I say? What was my feedback? Yeah, you were writing somehow good. This is what I said. Okay, Farhan Young. Okay, let's see. Just in time. Let's see what we can do about it. Good guys, we are going to go like this. We have two, everybody listen carefully. Last time after I left the class, Mr. Rahbar told me that next week, which is next Sunday and next Tuesday, is going to be our last classes this year with each other. So we are going to finish, believe it or not, all the presentations in two days, but the class is gonna be longer, okay? Starting from 11.30 or 11.45 and continuing as long as needed. Give me your names if on that list, which I cannot find here, you were supposed to give your presentation on Sunday. Sunday. One of them was Behruzi, I remember. One of them has to be Mirkhan. 
other people. Look, we have like 20 people left. Sunday, Tuesday. So please, if on Tuesday we don't have time, you will get a zero. If on Sunday I have five people, on Tuesday I have 15 people, those 15 people, some of them are going to get two. No, Mirchan. Mirchan Sunday. Because you can do it, Mirchan. Your English is better than some of us. You can do it on Sunday. Uh, maybe you want to make it perfect, super perfect. Doesn't have to be super perfect. Your super, your perfect is just super perfect to me. I'm gonna write things down, but only the people who want it on Sunday, please. Hold Rami, okay? Hold Rami Sunday. Rahparas Sunday. Thank you, Rahparas. Sunday, please. Gentlemen, on Tuesday there is a risk. If we sit here up to two o'clock and it is not finished, if the internet is cut, whatever, Yamani, you will get a zero. That's it. Don't ask me why. Molai. Good. Yamani, you're gonna be on Sunday. Motavali. Thank you. Zaimi Najafari. Zaimi, Najaf, very nice to hear from you. Uh, carry me Sunday with a smile. Gobad, you didn't have one. Wait, everybody. Gobad, you haven't given one yet. Gob, 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 gob. Okay, Gobad. As we go on, Yamani, yes, Yai. Ziaoi. Ziaoi, you didn't have a presentation yet? No? Let me say, okay. Ziaoi. Okay, enough for Sunday. Listen, according to the list, listen very carefully. Behruzi, Mirkhan, Khurrami, Rahparas, Yamani, Mullahi, Mutawalli, Zaimi, Najaf, Karimi, Qobad, Ziaoi which would give us five and five, then twelve people, okay? Good. Good. I know Zamani, Yamani, Sunday. I wrote your name on Sunday. I hope we can cover them all. All of you, all of you guys are supposed to give your uh, PowerPoint, send it to Mr. Rohbar on Saturday or maybe Sunday in the morning. Talk to Mr. Rohbar and say, what is the last the deadline. Send it to him. So uh, if anything happens about sharing here, we will have your PowerPoint here, and then we will take care of it. So get in touch with Mr. Rahbar. Ay Rahbar. Ay Rahbar. مشکلی ندارید. ما اینو بچه ها برای شما بفرستن. اون رو فهمودی چه کار میکنیم؟ آها. خیلی خوب پس لطفا حتما قبل از کلاس این رو برای واتساب میفرسید به خصوص اگه بشه شنبه حتی بعد از او شب که ما مطمئن شیم این رو داریم اگر به وقتی جا اتفاقی افتاد بله اتفاقی افتاد اینترنت مملکت پوکید ما بدونیم شما این رو آماده داشتید و احتمالا آماده پریزنتشن هم بودید پس اگر نفرستید مشکل خواهیم داشت و یک شنبه هم دوازده نفر رو خواهیم داشت مثل شما هم در جریان باشید بقیه هم من اسمشون از طولی سیاد داشت میکنم برای سه شنبه آماده باشن کلاس هم طولانی تر خواهد بود درست نمید آخبر بسیار عالی بسیار عالی بعد میگردیم به کتاب مرسی anybody wants to say anything هاشمی اوکی okay, هاشمی the other, other people who are not here will have the presentation on next Tuesday I read the names again. Behruzi, Mirkhan, Khurrami, Yahrah, Paras, Yamani, Mulai, Mutawalli, Zaimi, Najafdari, Karimi, Qobad, Ziyai. What a day. What a day. I must bring my coffee with me. Okay, I don't bring coffee. I must bring my green tea. And now Hashemi is going to say, Mr. Amini. Hashem is going to say something. I know what he's going to say. Let's see what he's going to say. Hashem is not going to say anything. He's too lazy to type. Nuri, do you want to say something? No one how tell me what? Nuri present Kalde. 
دوری خدای من چرا این لیست های من این شکلی است because we took it out of the folder دوری what class are you دوری 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 آن فرباد نوری شما قبلا پرزنت کردید تو کلاس منظورتونه جیومت جیوثرما انرژی قبلا تو این لیست من نمره ندارم باید برم اونجا رو نگاه کنم اگه به تو نمره داده باشم چون بچه ها اون موقع اولین تجربیاتتون بود ما فکر میکردیم به اندازه کافی وقت داریم خیلی ها رو نمره نمیدادم و میگفتم برید روش کار کنید حالا من لیست رو ببینم آقای نوری اونجا لیست دیگه ای دارم ببینم که اونجا نمره براتون رد کردم یا نه به هر حال آقای نوری خودتون آماده بکنید همه چیز آماده است دیگه اگه لازم شد سه شنبه آخر وقت یه پرزنتیشن خواهید داد خب هاتمی what do you want to say can I have a bit more time from the others in I'm very busy with my IELTS it's on 30th of all the best oh oh Hatami, Hatami, the classes, the school is going to be off after next Tuesday. What can I do? Talk to Mr. Zamani. Okay? Talk to Mr. Zamani and let's see what we can do. We wish you success with your IELTS exam. And when you get the result of your IELTS exam, Hatami, please send it to me somehow. Okay? Send it to Mr. Zamani and ask him to send it to me by text messaging. I want to see what you get in listening, in writing, and everything else. It's important to me. Okay, guys, we have a little bit of time. Let's go to an act of honesty by airport screener. A lot of these things happen around the world in airports. Do you know why? Because a lot of people come and go. A lot of people come and go, and then the chances that somebody loses something is very high. So some people find things at the airport. A lot of people find things at the airport. Let me write about Hatami's IELTS. Okay. Let's see what happened. New Delhi. We don't read it New Delhi. We read it New Delhi. But anybody can tell me why we have an H over there if we don't read it? Do we have such a thing in English? Come on, guys. Some of you know about everything. Behuzi, you are the guy. You are my encyclopedia. Milhan, Shark. What is that H doing there if we don't read it New Delhi? And why in Farsi we say Delhi? Ah, good question. Why? And what is the pronunciation in India? What is the name of this city in India? Nobody's typing. It means nobody knows, right? Good. In Indian language, there are sounds that do not exist in any other language. That's why the Indian accent is sometimes sort of funny to us. Like they say, you Delhi, Delhi. Okay, why did Delhi, la, la, your tongue is rolled. In order to show it in writing, there is an H after it. So this LH means this is one of those la. Dale. Okay, as, as far as I know. So, it is Delhi and New Delhi. In Farsi, it has changed to Delhi because in Farsi, it is difficult to say Delhi, you know, your New Delhi. So, in Farsi, it has changed to Delhi. Like, uh, flask has changed to flux. Like some people say, golf instead of kofle. Because it is easier to say. Bale, bale. Nuri, what do you mean by bale? Will the class be two hours long, Mirkhan? Yes! Next time, and next, next time, gentlemen, the class is going to be long, long, long. So please cancel all your appointments. Please bring some cookies and material if you want to eat. And don't leave the table. 
اوکی اف دیت از پاسیبل فور یو ا دیفال ا بی زمانی دیفال یس بات دیت ریلی ریلی سمثینگ بیکاز دیوار از نات ویری دیفیکالت تو سی سم پیپل بیکاز دی دونت نو هاو تو رید یا دیس تینگز هاپن بات دیر از ا ریزن وای وی هاف فلوکس اند گوفل گولف اند نیو دهلی از پروبابلی سمثینگ لایک دیت سمثینگ لایک نیو دهلی In a display of honesty, display means showing. Display means act here. In an act of honesty that everybody could see, a security agent at the Indra Gandhi, Gandhi, Gandhi International Airport handed over, handed over means gave back, a, a small plastic bag with 3,000 U.S. dollars in cash to a passenger who had completely forgotten the bag after it passed through the airport screening machine. A screening machine is one of those machines in which you put the things. You yourself don't go through the machine because it has x-ray. You put the things through the machine and get it from the other side. A screening machine means checking machine. Noticing that, understanding that the bag had been left behind or had been forgotten, Dalbil Singh, Singh made an announcement asking passengers to come forward to claim it. Here claim is what? What meaning of claim was at the arcade? And it, does it have the same meaning here? Anybody who has lost a bag, please come to the security, to the screening stall and claim the bag. Claim the bag. If you go there, what should you say? Say, oh, it belongs to me. But you will see tens of people standing in line saying the bag belongs to them. So. Claim here means saying it is yours and you want to receive it, but you must give clues. Huh? It was a plastic bag, it was a black plastic bag, there was $3,000 in it. If you give all the clues correctly, then the bag is yours. The guy is not going to show it to you and say, is this yours? Everybody in the airport would say it belongs to them. However, when no one claimed it, Singh inspected the baggage tag. Inspect means check checked the baggage tag and guessed it probably belonged to a passenger on route to Mumbai. Route means Masir. En route is a French word. En route or en route means on the way to. On the way to Mumbai. And what city is Mumbai? In Farsi, what do we say? Do we say Mumbai? What do we say in Farsi? Bambai, uh -huh. <laughs> Bambai, wherever they are, yes. Actually, the name of the city in Indian language was Mumbai, Mumbai. But the British people who were there thought the Indian people say something like Mumbai, Mumbai. And then they changed it to Bombay. Uh -huh. Rahparas is right, Bombay. No, no, Bombay at the end only Y and B O M. B A B E Y, I believe. Bombay, Bombay. But a few years ago, the Indian people got angry and they changed it to Mumbai. They say it is not Bombay. You heard it wrong. It is Mumbai. Okay? So, the same with the capital of China. Um, is it the capital? The big city we call Pekan. Now they call it Beijing. Beijing. People thought the. Chinese people say Peking, Peking, and then they wrote Peking, and this Peking went to France and it became Pekan, and so it came back to other languages and they said Pekan, and in English Peking, but it is Beijing or something like that. Good. Not important really. Uh, he was en route to Mumbai. An announcement was made on the next flight to Mumbai and the owner of the bag came forward to collect it, to claim it, to get it. Singh was given a cash reward for his honesty. 
don't forget to give people like this a good reward. Don't just say thank you to the taxi driver who gives your dollars back. So please give them a good reward, even if they say no. Give them a good reward. It makes you feel better. Okay? It makes you feel better. Okay, a cash reward. If they don't accept cash, invite the whole family to the best restaurant in town because the guy gave you thousands and thousands and thousands of your money back. So invite the whole family to a nice villa, to a nice hotel, to a nice restaurant. Give them the day of their life. Time of their life. Good. Anybody has any questions about the vocabulary here? Because this vocabulary is going to be in our exam. And you know what kind of questions Mr. Amini makes. Not very, very easy questions. On the next page, let me see. Go to the listening on the next page, Unit 10, please. I don't know if we had these words somewhere. We, yes, yes, we had them on page 16, 116. Do you think John has a double standard? Double standard, if you remember, is a bad thing. For example, I ask you, is a stealing bad? If you believe in double standard, you will say, well, Mr. Amini, it depends. If you steal from the government, it is OK. If you steal from if you steal from rich people, it is okay. If you steal from poor people, it is no okay. No, a stealing is bad anyway. So double standard always leaves your hand untied for doing bad things. Open. Sexist question two, page one sixteen. We had sexist. Yes, you don't treat men and women equally. It's good for men, but not. Is this color good for me? Does it look good on me? Well, Mr. Amini, it's good for women, not you. Well, this is a sexist idea about colors. Most of you guys, most of us people have a sexist opinion about colors, in Iran especially. And that is bad. Colors, colors, poor colors. Old-fashioned, we know. An old-fashioned guy. And uh, I would like you, everybody, to do exercise B and exercise C and exercise D for next time in order to check. Because certainly on the exam, we will have things like exercise B and exercise C and even D. Writing conditional sentences, OK? Writing conditional sentences. So and. The other piece of grammar we had. This is it. Do this page, and let me see, let me see. In the workbook, if we have anything interesting, we need to cover it, because there will be no more time afterwards. If I'm not mistaken, shall you help me out? Unit 9 must be finished. Are we done with Unit 9, guys? I mean page 81. Somebody help me. Somebody like Shark, for example. Somebody like Mirhan. Somebody like Sina. Somebody. What is the last page we did in the workbook? OK, what about page 84, Shark? Have we done it? 84, 85. 86 was the last one. OK? We should do 86 according to Khanov, but Shah says we haven't done 84. Maybe we haven't done 84, but let me see, choose the ones. OK, 85, page 85, gentlemen. If you have done it, good for you. If not, do it, please. Page 85 is good because we need to make sentences. And writing sentences for you guys is difficult. So page 85, watch book. Page 85, and also we had, OK, and 86, 
page 85, 86, a piece of cake. Anything we do not do, we will have to do for Tuesday. I don't want to leave a lot of things for Tuesday. Grammar booster. Oh, oh, oh. Grammar booster would be for Tuesday. 85, 86, 87, gentlemen. You can do it right now after the class in 10 minutes. Okay? That's it. That's it. Next time we will check the grammar booster. Shark, please remind me to also take a look at the grammar booster. Let me see. Let's check the grammar booster here. <clears throat> what page is the grammar booster? Shark. Uh -huh. Okay. Unit 10. Uh oh. I shouldn't touch my mouth. Unit 10 grammar booster. Unit 10 grammar booster. I will talk about it on. Tuesday, but if you are one of those people who don't have, who have a little problem, okay, with grammar, I would I suggest that you take a look at page 137 and read the material. This is very, very important for your English. So, <clears throat> page 137 is also your homework, because today is Tuesday, the next class is Sunday, we have a little time. We have a little time. 137. Just read 137 and do the exercises. 137. Thank you so much. Uh,